Hey everybody, welcome to part four of my series on transferring data from Access to Excel. In this video we're going to talk about formatting the output once you get it into Excel. We're going to talk about font manipulation, merging of cells, and cell justification. So let's head over to our database. I want to remind you where we were at the end of part three. I haven't changed anything in the database since part three. And in part three, if you remember correctly, we were, we were iterating through a record set the do while loop and as we encountered each row we wrote the values from each row to specific cells on the spreadsheet and what that looked like for us what that gave us was this we have six columns of data we have a column heading at the top for each one we have eight rows of data across six columns so what I want to start with is I want to give the customers a title something that I use to give them an idea of what the heck this list is. Okay, so we're going to put a, a title here and then I want to put a date underneath it so that they can, uh, of course, know what date these prices and discounts are valid for. So over in our code window here, everything's where we left it. I want to start with, uh, after we have set up our column widths and our format columns, and before we start building our column headings, I want to copy in, I want to write our title values. Okay, so in range A1, okay, so we're going to put in, in, in cell A1, we're going to put the word discount listing, and A2, I want to put the date. We're going to use the date function. This just returns the date. Now, if you use if you use now, and then uh, parentheses, it'll give you the date and the time. And I just want the date today. All right, and I just want to click off of there. We lose the uh, we lose the parentheses. Let's just take a quick look at what that gives us before we go any further. Okay, so in A1 we have the word discount listing, and in A2 we have today's day. Today happens to be 8-8-2015. Now I want to, what I want to do now is uh, manually what we do, but I want to center this heading. So manually I would highlight the columns I want to merge, right? And uh, I clicked on merge and center, and I'll do the same thing with the date. This is where I want to end up. Okay, we're gonna do it. In, we can't do a merge and center in the same in the same stroke like that in VBA. We have to do the merge first and then the center next. So let's go back and do that. Let's do our merge. I'm gonna type and copy in a, a comment as well here. <clears throat> comment for build report heading. So when we do the merge, we we start with the range property and we tell it the first cell. And the last cell, and it'll merge everything in between those, okay, including those. So we're starting with A1, and we're going to go across to F1 because we know that we know that our first column of data is an A, and our last column of data is an F. So we're going to merge A1 to F1. We're going to merge A2 to F2. And again, let's take a quick look at what that gives us. Okay, the the text hasn't changed yet. We haven't done the centering yet, but when we click on the cell, we see that now we have a single cell. We have merged cells. Okay, so back over to our code. And let's copy in the rest of our formatting. Several more pieces of formatting I wanted to do on this on these titles. I wanted to center the text. So and we're gonna use the range command again, but now that we have a single our our, our six columns of, of our six columns turn into a single column, we can refer to that merged cell by its its leftmost position, which is A1. I'm using the horizontal alignment property, setting it equal to a constant, Excel center. Okay, do that for both of them. I'm going to change the uh, font weight to bold, to bold. So again, using the same range commands, cells.font.bold equals true. I'm going to change the font, cells.font.name to Cambria. It's just a little bit fancier, good for, a, good for a title. And then I want to change the size. I want the top title to be a little bit bigger than the bottom title. So cells.font.size 14 for the top one and 12 for the bottom one. And let's run that really quick, see what we get. Okay, so now we have a, uh, <clears throat> a report heading, bolded and centered in a different font above the rest of our data. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to bold these, uh, these column headings. I'm going to bold them and I'm going to center them over the columns. So let's close our spreadsheet again. And get some code to copy. After I built the column headings, down here, use the same horizontal alignment. 
In this case now, I haven't merged any cells, but we can operate uh, on a range of cells. We don't have to work on just a single cell at a time. So here I want to use the, the horizontal alignment in the center on A4 through F4. And those were our column headings. The fourth row was right above our data. And we're just, what it'll do is it'll center each one of those cells individually when you do it this way. Okay, A4 through F4. And I also want to bold those. So again, let's take a quick look what that gives us. See, we do have, we still have six separate columns here. And each one is bold and each one is centered within itself. All right. Let's get rid of that. I want to do one more thing. <clears throat> I want to add a footnote. Not that we need a footnote in this spreadsheet, but the reason I want to add a footnote is because, well, let me show you why. Let's go, let's run the spreadsheet. Let's see. Have you ever needed, and this is a probably a silly example, but let's just say have you ever wanted to format one section of text slightly different from the rest? So it stands out, something like that. Okay, it's very easy to do when you double click on the cell. And get access to the content so you can do that very easily in VBA uh, you can do that it's just kind of messy kind of ugly but we're gonna do it just because we want to uh, we want to give you everything we think now, I wanted to put that footnote here two lines down from the bottom okay so if I'm look correctly we had a counter over here in our code it was I it was keeping track of which row we were going to write to. After we dealt with the row of data, we would increment that counter and then move to the next record in the spreadsheet and the, in the record set. So when we come out of that loop, I is going to be on, is going to represent the last row. And I want to write my footnote a couple lines down from that. So what we're going to do then is we're going to set I equal to I plus 2 to give us some space. And then we're going to write our write our footnote. Okay. And here we are. We have to use the I to tell it what row to write to. But starting on, uh, we're going to do the merge first. A I to F I, merge. And then we're going to write our message, our uh, our footnote. A I, not value. And here's the text we want to put in there. All right. Give that a shot. So there's our text. It's inside a merged cell, so there's no lines that get in the way. And there's our text. And we want to bold those two lines in the middle. First, though, since this is a footnote, we like to make those smaller and harder to read, right? So we're going to decrease this, the, the font size just, to, just for kicks and grins. That's the, that's the fine point we have there. Now, for bolding, just the characters in the middle of that sentence. What we do is we tell it what range we're working on, and then we use the characters collection. And we tell it start at character 30 and go for a length of 10. Font.bold equals true. And then I want to do a little bit more formatting on it. I'm going to make it italics and I want to make it red. So font.italic equals true. And font color, and we use the con a built-in constant, VBA constant, VB red, just to really make it stand out, make it obvious, and that's what we get. We have two words there in the middle that are italicized and bolded and are red. Thanks for joining me in this video. Look forward to seeing you next time when we'll talk about lines. Thank you.